Howdy everybody, Lucy Goosey here and welcome back to Monster Loves You and I think, I think, this is gonna be the finale. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I got two days left of my adulthood and we need to do some politicking and we need to do some exploring. We gotta find a way to get our respect up and not lose any. We can't lose any respect, otherwise I will never be an elder, and I want to be an elder real bad, okay? Real bad. Okay, but we got our ferocity. Sometimes you need to be cruel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you need to be clever. Clever. Okay, so my cleverness and ferocity are both 100. Bravery is 87. Honesty is like 4. <laughs> 42. And kindness is 88. Okay, so I've been pretty good throughout. I have been a liar the entire time. Uh, but we need to get up there so I can either be clever or I can be ferocious. I hope I can be one or the other and that will possibly, POSSIBLY get me into elderhood. Elderdom? Elderhood. I don't know. I'm gonna be an elder! I don't want to be goopy anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna do one politicking, and I'm gonna do one exploring. So let's do a politicking first. Politicking with uh, heavy stone. Heavy stone. I can do something with heavy stone. You sit with Nash, Nash, and Gobclaws at a tattered red blanket, eating cookies and talking about artifacts. I love cookies. I love artifacts. This is perfect for me. Okay, what are the artifacts? Artifacts are human-made objects. Many monsters collect them. All the garbage cans and omen were collected from one human bus stop. Some artifacts are interesting. Some can be dangerous. Uh, continue our little discussion. Gobclaws size. I really like artifacts. I want a nice big collection, but it seems like I can never find any good ones. You and Nash Nash exchange glances. Nash Nash runs a claw along the handlebars of her little scooter. You both know some good spots. Tell Nash, tell Gobclaws about the good spots. Keep mum. Mum's the word. You can help her in other ways. I'm sure we could help her. But you know what? Let's tell her about the good stops that we got. Kindness plus three. Heck yeah, baby. You open your mouth, but gasp as Nash Nash kicks you hard. Why? Nash Nash whispers, that'll be less stuff for us. I don't care if you have less stuff. But if I do, you're in big trouble. She pokes you with her claws to make her point. Tell her anyway. I don't care. Honesty, kindness, beautiful. Now Claus clicks her pincers happily as she does a little dance of thanks. She scutters off to the woods to check out the places you described. What about Nash Nash? Uh, makes good on her promise of big trouble in the form of thorough drubbing. Call back to your home exhausted and bleeding. Do I lose any? Oh, uh, I didn't lose anything though. But I didn't gain anything. Crap. I need a biggin, biggin, biggin. Um, food. Food, I've been good. I've been good with food. I'm probably gonna lose some big time respect on this one. Uh, as you explore the whale mist, you notice the air smells faintly of gingery bread. There! Ahead, there's a flock of very fat birds pecking a trail of crumbs that winds through the trees. Try the crumbs, follow the trail of birds and crumbs, chase the birds away, follow the trail. We have to do this. Ooh, it leads along a twist of paths you never knew existed. Deep in the forest, you come across a rickety human house which smells of baked goods. You hear human speech. Two children are babbling nearby. What do they look like? I have a feeling this is Hansel and Gretel all over again. I think, I think, that I've already done this one. Uh, the human children look tired and very thin, but their bellies bulge as they as though they've just eaten a huge meal. They're so weak that you don't fear for your life being so close. Alright. I'll wait for the children to leave the bakehouse. Eat one of the children. When will you get a chance like this? Humans are pretty dangerous. Leave them alone. I'm gonna eat one of the children's. The children emerge from the house as it begins to burn. The girl looks back as an older human starts to scream inside and you make your move. The boy is too slow and tired to respond. Oh, yes. So delicious. So good. So delicious. So Mmm. Tasty little children's, full of gingery bread and sweets that the witch fattened them up for me. And then she paid the ultimate price, again burned. Now, before they can be Hansel and Gretzels, Hansel and Gretzels, <laughs> Hansel and Gretel witch hunters, I actually like that movie, terrible, but I like it. I'm gonna eat them. Oh yeah, so delicious, so very good, such a very sweet. 
The girl turns back as her brother's hand slips out of hers. She sees you. She blinks. Not sure whether you're real or not. Let it go. Uh, continue the meal. That's right. Uh, bravery plus 13. Beautiful. The girl eyes widen as you spread your claws. She slaps you and it hurts. It hurts worse than a slash from the claws of the oldest monster. You spin and knock her down. Then move in to end the fight before she can end you. Take some home of your meal to share. Leave nothing behind but memories. Let's take some home. Let's share it. You walk into Omen with a bulging belly smelling of meat and gingery bread. Every monster you meet gets a little something to put on the larder. And toes. Toes for everybody. Even though there's only like 20 toes. Maybe. I don't know if I got both of them. I think I only got 10 toes. All right. Toes for all 10 monsters. But we got our bravery up and we did get a little bit extra with the, this thing. Uh, bravery. I think I got it up to 100. Heck yes, I did. Baby. Booyah. Okay, so let's go explore the whale mist. But I can't. You're growing old, my friend. Your body's very soft and you drip slime everywhere you go. It's getting hard to leave your hovel. Ooh, look at the slimies. Uh, stay inside and think about this. Go see the spine doctor. Let's go see the spine doctor. The doctor tells you that your time is almost up. You'll soon reach the end of adulthood and they will either ascend to elder status or dissolve into slime. Let me ascend, baby. Let me ascend into the greatness. Oh, uh, what happens to monsters who dissolve? We already know that. What happens to monsters who ascend? We know that too. Can the doctor do something to stop the process? Let's ask. I don't know. Uh, there's a treatment that might prevent your dissolution. Ooh, what's the treatment? Uh, the treatment involves an extract taken from the tentacle ferns that grow in the whale mist. Ooh. Ooh. Do I do it, though? I don't know. Let's go try it. Shit. On the spawn doctor's directions, you enter the whale mist in search of the tentacle fern. They're coming in those woods. Pick a fern. Way through the thickest of the sticky green coils, letting them brush against your hide until one latch is firmly in place. That means it's ripe. You snip the fern with your claws. What's that sound? It's a little monsterling. Try not to be noticed. Ignore the monsterling and move along. Or yell at her. She should be in the brood cave. Stop for a while. Yeah, let's talk to him. That's awesome. Little monsterling asks, why are you dripping so much slime? You look behind you and see a trail of goopy fluids. Explain about dissolution. Eat the monsterling. Let's explain. Let's talk to the guy. Young Monsterling seems terrified at the thought of dissolving. She says, it's not fair. Animals live like much longer than we do, and humans longer still. Tell her it's natural for monsters and nothing to fear. Tell her she's right to be upset. No, tell her that it's, it's okay. Kindness, 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 honesty. Lovely. You remind her that this is the cycle of life and that it's always been this way. We carry in us the rem remnants of thousands of monsters who came and went before us. Ah, uh, explain about Ascendance. Yeah, let's talk to her a little bit about it. Point backwards at Omen. It's not over for everyone, and the other monsters respect. If the other monsters respect you enough, you can live on as an elder to share your wisdom directly and help care for the monsterlings. Uh, she says, "I'd like to do that. Is that what you're going to do? Tell you can't. Tell you can't ascend once you. T tell her you can't ascend once you take your medicine. What?" Uh, is that what you're going to do? I tell her you can't ascend once you take your medicine. Lie to her. I'm gonna... Okay. Explain that you have a few more things to do, but then you're going back to the spawning vat. She nods sadly and leaves you to your task. Bummer. Okay, you return to the spine doctor with the tentacle fern. She takes it from you. Watch her make the medicine, change your mind, and go home without it. I actually am gonna do that. The doctor smiles as you turn to leave. So if you accepted your fate, that's for the best. That's right. I like that. I like that. I, I kind of feel like a little bit turdish <laughs> for trying to like weasel my way out of it. Group of elders is waiting at the door to your hovel. They've seen your drippings. They know it's time for you to dissolve or ascend. Uh, <laughs> ask him to come back later. I didn't do that last time. All right, then we'll see you tonight. All the elders turn to go. Watch them leave and close the door. Seriously? Sit in your hovel contemplating the coming change. The elders will be back soon. Slip away while no one's... Go to the elders, center to the elf. That's right. I'm not gonna try and like avoid my fate. Uh, the elders of Omen surround you at the spawning vat. There's me. Uh, they built a fire beneath a small cauldron. Your body is squishy and damp. Examine the cauldron. We know what's in the cauldron. Be tested. Try to ascend to elder status. Dissolve, becoming one of the spawning vat. Last chance to run. 
No, we are going to ascend. I need to, I want to, nay, we must ascend into greatness. A masked elder comes forward. She says, it's time to decide. All the elders growl and snarl. Mass elder claws herself. Three drops of liquid splatter against the hot bottom of the empty cauldron. Thick vapor rises into the air. Uh, was that blood or slime? No one knows. You can't make sure it depends on how much she respects you. Go on. Mass elder asks, who has already decided the fate of this monster? Let's wait. A few of the elders approach the cauldron to add fluid to the collection. The liquid begins to bubble. Wait on, buddy, wait on. The masked elder has placed five flat stones on the ground before you. She says, choose one, chance will guide your claw. Uh, look at the stones. Each stone is stained with old blood and polished by the touch of a many a paw. You can't tell one stone from the other. Okay, I like it. Pick a stone that looks good. The other side of the stone is etched with a crude glyph. It shows two monsters fighting. The masked elder says, we will test your ferocity. Bring it. Bring it. I'm 100% ferocious. Arar. <laughs> so ferocious. Two large monsters seize you from behind. They growl and try to pull you apart. Fight them both. Attack just one monster. Ooh. Fight them both. 100% ferocity. You flick your claws out and squirm around to face your attackers with butt curdling shriek. You give each one a faceful of slices. They deserve the scars. They do. They attacked me for no reason. Several monsters howl their approval and step forward, adding more fluids to the iron cauldron. Choose the next stone. The other side of the stone is etched with a crude glyph. It shows monsters facing down a human. The mass elder says, we will test your bravery. I just hit 100. No, I'm only 99% now. Oh, no, because I wasn't brave enough. Oh, the elders add sticks and dry leaves to the fire until it grows huge and hot. They remove the cauldron and retreat before the roaring flames one by one until only you remain. Try and stay near the fire. Heck yeah. It's hot, very hot, and your body begins to pull away in its own. You gather your will and remain in place. Your excess slime begins to dry out and crack. But as the fire dies down, you're still there. Yes! <laughs> I might do this, guys. Several monsters howl their approval and step forward, adding more fluids to the iron cauldron. Approach the cauldron. I might do this, guys. I might actually do this. You hold the cauldron, which contains the portentous infusion. It's heavy. Look at the cauldron. Drink the portentous infusion. Look at it. Let's find out what it is. It's quite full, and there's far more blood in there than slime. That's awesome. Uh, drink the portentous infusion. If there's enough blood in it, I will ascend. You drink, ooh, respect plus one, ooh. <laughs> you drink the bubbling concoction, then belch. And how? Your body solidifies almost instantly. You are an elder now. Yes, I did it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't got to be honest to be to be a good elder. I just need to be ferocious and brave and cunning. And I can't remember what the last one was. Kindness, kindness. I can see it down at the bottom now. <laughs> I am an elder. That's awesome. Uh, you are now an elder. You are welcome in Znak, the oldest of monster towns. Okay, baby. Oh, it's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. Oh, my gosh. I was not expecting this. In this stage of life, if you play your cards right, you'll be able to affect both the way monsters view humans and vice versa. Use your powers of persuasion wisely. Look at me. Look at little me. Oh, I look so cute compared to these guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I got 14 days again. I'm sorry, guys. I thought this was going to be it. I thought this was going to be the last, the final. But no, we found more to do. I, I don't know what this is. What's this? This is how well monsters think of humans. When the inevitable conflict comes, this will dictate how monsters act. Uh, the current score is 20 out of monsters dislike and fear humans, but you can change this. Okay. Uh, think of monsters when the inevitable conflict comes. Uh, what do they think of us? They're the same. They're 20 out of 10. I wonder if I can get humans to, like, super like me and monsters to super hate humans. Oh, <laughs> that would be a massacre and that would be lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay, so since this isn't the end, we have to come back and do more of this, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to have to put you through this. But I honestly can't wait to come back and do more of this. This, this honestly threw me for a loop. I had no clue this was coming. I thought I would just 
like ascend to be an elder and I'd get a new little dinghy bob at the beginning of the game but no I get more to do which is awesome I get 14 more days so we got two episodes left of this so two or three we'll try for two I'll try and make them nice and not like long episodes but a little lengthy probably about the same amount as this one is I'll try and fling through them as fast as I can but until next time Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or any games you would like to see me play, leave those in the comments down below. Thanks again, everybody, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>